another watch and win review, this time from our friends over at Entertainment Earth, and uh, I'm really excited about this feature product today. Uh, this is something I've had my eyes on for a while now, since I first started uh, following the, uh, the Back to the Future Twitter, official Twitter uh, account, and I saw this, it's, it's been a while back. And uh, I'm a big Yahtzee fan. I remember playing as a kid, you know, with the, the pencil and pad, rolling the dice in that ugly brown shaker. And they've really upped the game on Yahtzee now with this awesome Back to the Future edition. Now, obviously you can tell that the shaker is the flux capacitor, a uh, miniature, I guess you would say, uh, prop or model, the dice, oh, look at the dice, <laughs> it looks like the uh, the plutonium case, the yellow, and it's got even the, the symbol on there, I believe, with, for the number one, the packaging itself is just great, we got this great shot of the time machine down below, and of course, you know, it tells you it lights up, so I'm going to be popping some batteries in here in a minute, uh, but the packaging is just great, and shows you uh, a, a nice uh, display of what's inside. So without further ado, we're going to carefully open this up and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so we've got the game opened up. I'm really excited. You can't tell. <laughs> uh, here is the shaker. Uh, they have it pretty well secured in there to deter anybody from stealing it out of there. Obviously, this is the most uh, prized part of the game. And I've already I've removed the back. It's going to take a pretty fine screwdriver, Phillips said, to get that cover off and then to put your batteries in there. Uh, and then it's just a simple switch in the front to turn it on. So let's take a look. Oh, yeah. The... Uh, Flux capacitor is flexing as we speak. Um, if you're like me, maybe you <laughs> are not a DIY person, and this is probably your best bet if you want a nice-looking uh, flux capacitor prop. You know, for your collection, uh, you can see the the light up there is delayed by. Uh, few seconds and maybe my batteries are just about dead. Oh, it's still going. Okay. I don't know what the frequency is for the lights to light up, but uh, it's the stickers, they're just stickers. They're not the, you know, like the label maker type stickers that are actually on the, the you know, flux capacitor that you would see as a regular prop, but for the price and for the quality this might be your best bet. I've left the dice in there just because, you know, somebody's going to be winning this. Um, the shaker, you know, it. I guess you can use it as a shaker if you want to. You put the dice in there, put the cap back on, or just put them in the top and uh, shake them out and, you know, dump the dice out. Uh, I don't know. I might, <laughs> I might want to just use this more for display uh, than anything, than a uh, actual Yahtzee shaker, but you get the little instruction booklet that tells you how to play Yahtzee, how to score, and you get a nice little pad. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that too well, but it's got it's like Doc Brown's uh, plans uh, <laughs> in the background there. So that's pretty cool that they even did that with the paper. I would like to see them a little bit, you know, bigger. Uh, than just this kind of mini size, but you've got uh, how to score. Well, actually, it's uh, the uh, upper section and lower section from front and back on the pad, so you don't have a full size for your upper and lower section. So you get that small little score sheet, and they even give you a little pencil to go along with it. So obviously, you're buying this to get the flux capacitor light. <laughs> Uh, that would be my reason, primary reason to buy it. The, the dice are cool, and they're, you know, the 
custom for the set, which is really cool. And you get a little bit of customization with the, the pad, but you're buying it for the shaker. And it looks like my batteries have, <laughs> have gone out. Actually, there they are again. Maybe it's motion activated. I'm not sure. So when you pick it up, the, uh, the lights start moving again. But well, the package is really cool, really cool design. Uh, they, they even put on a little disclaimer here. Note, item does not actually send you through time. So uh, <laughs> that's pretty comical, actually, for a, for a toy. Um, so very cool design, and uh, I would recommend you check this out on entertainmentearth.com. And uh, if you want a, a nice uh, replica of the flux capacitor to put in your collection. Uh, if you're just a Yahtzee fan, I've seen the Super Mario Yahtzee with the big question block, things like that. And by far, this is probably the best uh, Yahtzee game, custom Yahtzee game that's out there. So uh, good luck to uh, everybody that's going to enter the contest. And I hope a big Back to the Future fan will win this. And uh, this should be a fun game to share and, and to put in your collection, even just for display, if you want to do that. But uh, I appreciate everybody watching uh, these reviews. Uh, don't forget to go in the uh, details below in the YouTube video and click over to the giveaway. That will be posted on rediscoverthe80s.com. And again, I appreciate my friends over at Entertainment Earth for sending me such a cool item to review. And hope you'll check out our previous reviews and subscribe to the channel for more in the future. So until next time, this is Jason, and I appreciate you watching. Don't let your